he couldn't go on. Turning his head to avoid observing the menacing beast, he waited for the end to come. At that moment, his sister noticed a door to the outside and thought about going it alone. She wanted to survive. Maybe her brother would be okay. The Velociraptor was own, now only inches from his face. It could smell the scent in his hair. One last deep breath. She changed her mind. Picking up the ladle, she tapped it on the floor, diverting the Velociraptor's attention. Hastily, she darted into an open cupboard and clutched her knees. This was it. Across the kitchen, a Velociraptor sought out its target, accelerated through the mess and launched itself at the girl. Surely there would be no escape.